What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you to Joann's to show you some of the best clearance items that I found. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So in this channel, I share a lot of budget-friendly stuff, DIYs, home decor, home improvement, if you guys are interested in that, I would love to invite you to become part of the DIY family by subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. All right, so like I mentioned, we are going to Joann's to check out all of their sale and clearance items. Here's my thing when I want to purchase stuff that's not Dollar Tree, not Walmart, and not like cheap decor. If I want to purchase like the nice florals, which I used to do that a lot, um, I like going when the season is done. So spring and summer are done. You're always going to find your clearance items um, marked down quite a bit. I like shopping for like the future year. That way I don't have to spend full price. Um, of course with Joann's and like Michael's and stuff, they always have like markdowns or like percentages off, but I still feel like sometimes they get you. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking and show you what I found at Joann's. So here are the spring and summer florals that are marked down about 70%. I always like to skim through these to see if I can find anything that's going to fit a DIY that I'm going to make or maybe some decor that I want to um, put out. And I did find this stem, which I really like. I, d I dug around to see if I could find some more, um, but I didn't. And 70% off is a pretty good deal, um, especially for these single stems that are, you know, sometimes on the higher end. And then when you look, it's always going to tell you what type of um, decor is or what like the brand name is. So for example, this one, it shows that all the bloom florals are on sale. So anytime I come to Joann's, I always skip through this part of the store because everything's so expensive. Um, but you can find similar stuff to those vases and stuff to Dollar Tree or at Dollar Tree. Maybe not as big, but maybe something similar. So these terracotta pots um, were 40% off and I actually really like these. You're not going to find anything this size at Dollar Tree, at least not that I have seen. Typically I buy my terracotta pots at Walmart, but they don't always have like different shapes like this one. Um, and then also the saucers they have at Walmart, but the ones that were five bucks ended up being $3. So I did purchase a couple of those. Okay, so at first I got super excited because I thought the glue guns were 40% off and you can find some really cheap um, glue guns like the one right there is $9.99. But looking closely, it's only the glue and adhesives. I typically... I typically go for the Gorilla Hot Glue um, and sometimes I also wait for the 50% off coupon off any regular price item. Uh, so I don't know if it would apply if it's already on sale. And then this huge pack of glue sticks that are full size, $24.99, taking off the 40% off. I think it's a good deal. And then coming over here to the Cricut section, I honestly, since my videos do tend to be sponsored through Cricut, I don't end up buying stuff full price or end up buying in the store um, but they do have a lot of sales here for Cricut items as well which is good because at least not in my Joann's they don't ever take coupons for those items so always look for those deals if you can't get the coupons all right and this spot is 30% off uh, these are things like if you like doing your planners or um, if you like doing scrapbooking and stuff there's a lot of little stickers and knickknacks and all that that you can use for it and then um, I didn't really scrummage through this a lot. I did actually end up picking a couple of things. Um, but my favorite, favorite spot in the store is always the one marked clearance. And that is basically my favorite spot in any store. I always go for the clearance because obviously it's going to be a lot cheaper than even the sale part of the store. So here we are. There's a lot of stuff here um, and obviously you just kind of have to skim through or rummage through like the bins, but it's always a good spot to look when you, you know, especially in stores like this, they do tend to be more expensive. So looking through the clearance stuff, you know, you might find something that is discounted way more than you would ever pay for. And then you can take an additional 25% off the already discounted red sticker price.
And you can always find really neat or like arts and crafts stuff and projects for kids. Let's just say like me, I have a toddler or, you know, if you have like a preschool or for school or whatever it is, just stuff to keep the kids busy. The, these really big packs are on sale as well. I didn't actually pick anything up myself this time around, but it's always something nice to look for, especially like when it's going back to school time. Do you like crafts, Lonnie? Huh? Do you like crafts? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Night. 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 You want to tickle us when we go night night? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I like it. Silly goose. Alright, so this is my go-to spot anytime I have a sewing project. Um, you can look through the other aisles that have like sales or you can use coupons, but I always like coming on this side <laughs> of the store for like the clearance clearance uh, fabrics. And I may not always find something I like, but like today I did. I thought this fabric was super awesome, although when I did look at the price, it was a little more expensive. Uh, than I would have hoped for even for the clearance but still like if you want something like this and don't want to pay like that full price you can still you know keep it in mind and you can see what the discounted colors mean up at the top and now for those of you who like making uh, t-shirts maybe this is a good section I'm sure you could probably find it you know cheaper online but these are on sale as well and then I have been using embroidery hoops or whatever hoops these are called for multiple projects on my channel and um, you know these are $9.99, but you take off the 30% off. It's not going to be too bad, especially if you really, really want to make that project. All right, and while we're here, I will show you guys what I actually brought home with me. Um, I wish I would have found a few more of these because I told you guys I love just greenery in my house. It is very rare that I have any of this this going on like for seasonal decor, unless I'm doing DIYs, of course, um, but for my own personal preference I like greenery um, so this was actually um, $5.99 for the stem so it ended up being like a dollar and change or something but it's really really pretty it almost has like the same look as um, lambs year but not I don't really know what this is it's just a spring floral but I thought it was really pretty it's a really long stem and it's nice and full so for a dollar you can't really beat that Whereas you, let's say you buy it at like Dollar Tree or something. And then I know they do, I showed you guys these already, but I just ended up buying a few of these um, little packs of clothespins. <laughs> just because, um, that's it. I didn't get too, too much. Mostly what I was excited about were these two terracotta pots that I showed you guys towards the beginning. Um, I thought these were a really good deal. I feel like the other ones, even though they were the same size, were a little bit more expensive. Um, but I love these because you guys know that style, like the um, boho and just like the more modern-ish. Um, a nice pink job on these and I actually kind of like them like these, but we'll see what we do with them. Um, I just really like that they're a little bit different than just like your generic terracotta pots. So I went ahead and got these and that's pretty much it because I didn't want to go like on a spending frenzy. So and I got Milani some little stickers. That is it. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up. Leave me your comments or questions down below and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys on the next one. Bye.